second function is for subtraction third function is for we put uh, this uh, multiplication this these all are the different different functions okay mainly by functions we choose if we uh, define the functions then it is easy to make a code means uh, if a uh, uh, one time I make a function as an arithmetic. If I want to use this arithmetic function, it's anywhere in the uh, application. So I, I have to always call this function, not write a code for this function all the time. Okay. Uh, here, uh, yeah, means random is the particular. Uh, File particular function uh, which we uh, which is a inbuilt function uh, which is given in a Python library. Okay, but so, if uh, so can, but, can, we, can, we, can we call random a function? Yeah, random is a function. Particular we want a random value values by uh, using of this function. I got the values. Okay, random is the particular function. Okay. Now, yeah, but uh, here I means uh, I show you here there is the four types of functions available in a Python. Here mainly to write up uh, to understand the details of function calls and argument passing in Python. Means in a Python, if you want to uh, know the uh, know about the function, for that we using two things: one call the function and second passing pass the arguments. I will explain you what is the arguments, what is the why we call the function and all. Okay, if we define the functions in proper manner, then we reduce the code duplication. Okay, means uh, complexity of the code is also decreased. If I define one time function and use in multiple times in my code, so my length of the code is also reduced because of the function. Okay. Now, okay. yeah, uh, there is a four type of functions available in a Python. Okay, first function is the our programs compile comprise a single function called a main. Means uh, if uh, I started to write a program, okay, I made one function, okay, in a program in current program. It's a main main function. Means in this function I put all the another functions okay so this is the first so, type of function so, uh, sorry um, yeah when we say function what is the general meaning uh, or definition of uh, can we just give a short general definition of function uh, mainly the definition of function we can say if we want to do a uh, means uh, if we we want some work, want to do some work from our code, okay? Then particular, I give one, uh, uh, one second, I give an example, like an electrician, okay? It's a, uh, um, it's a function. Why it is function? Because electrician do the electrical works, okay? Then uh, second function, we can say the carpenter. It do the carpentry work, okay? When uh, I want a carpentry work, then I always ask this carpenter function. Okay. In the mainly the function is you can say means mainly we define the objects in our program like the same we define the functions. Okay. Function is the action of the code. Okay. The action of the code. Yeah. Action of the code. Okay, here are uh, four types of functions. I first function mainly in when we start our program, we define the class, we define the object, and we define one main function. In this main function, we define all the functions. Okay, in dotted uh, you can see uh, mainly we uh, define all the class in one uh, one place. We define all the objects in one place. We define the all the functions in one place, and when we require the function, I have only called the function. Okay, in .NET framework means .NET language mainly we work like that. In the same here also the in Python we define all the functions in a word function base. 
in one main function page then this is called a first type of function okay second type of function is the built-in python function built-in python function means uh, python have some function like a input function uh, we write a input command that by using of this we enter the keyboard keyboard values in our program okay so this type of sub functions is available in a python this is the inbuilt function okay uh, for that we uh, i have to only write a command nothing else okay like a uh, this uh, abs is the absolute val uh, value integer value string value this all are functions means okay. particular command this commands are inbuilt function of the python by using of this this directly I write an integer that it will take automatically integer value. No need to I define the integer. What is the integer? Because already it has an inbuilt function. He knows if I write an integer that it will it has to take a integer values. Okay. This is the second type of function. First type of function where we define all the functions. Second type of function is the uh, is in a that means it is a like a command okay the third function from the standard libraries I already show you the library in library we have a different different function like a random mainly we use random this is the one function which is a which is in inbuilt python library okay and last one is the functions from the graphics module means uh, mainly for if we, I want to make some GUI application for that we have some functions available in a Python okay you said uh, you said you were going to show me some GUI yes in next to next slide I will show you okay yeah the, yeah uh, okay. yeah the, mainly by use uh, by we use functions First is easier for programmer to work together. Means if I put all the functions, I define all the functions in a one place. So any developer can read, any programmer can understand what type of functions is used by this application. And where I have to put my new app functions. Okay. Alright. Yeah. The second is put details of uh, while looking at the big picture. But uh, mainly... Uh, Every time I write a code for the functions, that my length of the code is also increases and the complexity of the application is also increases. But if we use particular function uh, file, then uh, I have to only call the function. Okay, so the length of the code is not uh, increases and also it's looking good. And the every person can understand, any developer can understand what type of program or what type of code is going on in this application. Okay, if uh, right. I define the function that testing and debugging is all of the application is also easily, easily we can do the testing because you know I don't no need to check every time uh, this functions. If I write a many, uh, this same function in a many, multiple types, then uh, when I get the error at that time, I have to uh, check and also correct at every place. But if I define a word function, so I have to correct only at one place. Okay? Alright. So, this is the easier for testing and debugging. If I want to correct my error, then it is easy if I define the functions. Otherwise, I have to, at every page, I have to check the error and also that uh, correct it. It is a too big task. Okay? Okay. Okay, now, second more. Next is, uh, what is the application of functions? I already told you. Uh, writing the same code twice or more. This is the difficult to handle it. Uh, uh, it is difficult to error handling. So mainly the functions use is what to make the code uh, clear. Secondly, the debugging problem. This error handling is easy because of the function. 
and second and third was the it reduce the code duplication and uh, it make programs more easier understood and maintain okay we can maintain the application easy way okay i know one second now here is the definition the function is like a sub program a small program that is a part of a larger one okay function is particular but type of small program random is the function if this you have we have seen sub program is uh, written in this uh, random file okay then uh, okay yeah then we can then execute this sequence at any time with by referring to the name like making a new keyword keywords in a language this is the thing simple uh, we we are if we clearly mention the with clearly define the function it is easy to understand like uh, i create word uh, i define word function as a add so it is easy, easy to understand what we uh, what uh, this uh, code want to say add function with addition is available it is used for addition nothing for nothing else okay the secondly we can say if we uh, create a function in word program okay so it's called function definition but when function is used in a program we say the definition is called or is what okay simply i say if i write a word function in a program so it's a uh, we say it's a function but if we call the function every time so it's called a called function okay okay yeah means uh, when i want to add by uh, when i want to add something at the time i only call the add function so this is this function is uh, uh, this we can say this function as a called function okay but if i write a uh, arithmetic as a one function this is really the define a new function main function 